You know, they've won four out of their last five games, and I think they're an extremely solid team. It, it took a huge comeback effort for us in the second half to beat them up at NC State, so uh, we've got a lot to prepare for in these next couple of days. It's going to be a big game for us. Uh, we beat them at their home, and now we're playing home, and we need to make sure we protect our court. Um, it's also our paint game, which uh, is big for me, knowing that I uh, lost my mom of uh, breast cancer. Uh, it's going to take all of us coming together and believing and playing like a team. Uh, I'd say it's pretty tough. Um, we're all pretty interchangeable and we all play different positions, so I'd say it's pretty hard. Yeah. That's really been a luxury for our offense this year and, and knowing that different people can step up in any situation. I think that's why we're the highest scoring team in the ACC is because you've got a lot of different um, players who can step in at any given time, a lot of versatility. Uh, I think it's a lot of fun to play in the system and it's a lot of fun to coach. Um, it's really big. Uh, it's a very uh, important game. Uh, it, I mean, cancer is something that's going around. A lot of people are dying from it, um, also battling it, so it's good to support. Well, for me personally, it means a lot. My grandmother passed from best breast cancer, so um, it's something pretty important to me. A lot of people don't understand that you know it's not only to bring awareness to the issue of of breast cancer, but it's to what Kay Yao wanted to have happen through her endowment fund is that people would have an opportunity for early detection.